my dear students you have already learned in class 7 that how to draw a triangle and to make a unique triangle you need three measurements either sides or sides and angles so with three measurements you can draw the unique triangle now a question arises in my mind that what should we do for a unique quadrilateral will we require four measurements for the unique quadrilateral so to check that i call my three students and provide them these two sticks for the length and these two sticks for the breadth to each one of them means all three students i tell them to make the quadrilateral and bring that to me i also provide the connectors to them now they return to me with these three quadrilaterals 1 2 and this is the third one you can see this is a rectangle and second one made a parallelogram like this and third one a parallelogram but a, with a different angle so you can see these three are different quadrilateral means we can say they are not unique means after giving these four measurements i cannot get or we will not be able to make a unique quadrilateral then i provided them to check only i provided them next time the five measurements and those five measurements are i provide them the two sticks for length these two sticks for breadth and this one stick for diagonal means this time i provided them five measurements with the connectors and tell them just to make a quadrilateral and bring to me then they returned me these quadrilaterals one student gave me this second gave me this and the third one gave me this now what will you observe from this you can see they all three are same means with these five measurements i got the unique quadrilateral now the question arises will any five measurements with sides or angles or only the five measurements these are required like only the sides and one diagonal or any five measurement now this question arises in my mind now to get the answer of this question we will going to learn the chapter practical geometry the chapter 4 of your ncert book and we going to learn in this chapter the constructing of a quadrilateral and we going to learn this construction with four different ways and these four different ways are first we going to learn with the four sides and one diagonal will be provided and you will going to make a quadrilateral and check will it be unique the second uniqueness will check with two diagonal are provided and three sides will be given to you and the third one is we will provide you the two adjacent sides and the three angles so we have to check that we will be able to make the unique quadrilateral or not with these five measurements and the fourth one is we will provide you the three sides and two included angles between these three sides so we need to check that will be able to make the unique quadrilateral with these types so we going to learn these things in this chapter thank you